The Strange Dr. Weird. Good evening. Come in, won't you? Well, what's the matter? You seem a bit nervous. Perhaps the cemetery outside this house has upset you. But there are things far worse than cemeteries. For instance, a criminal with murder in his heart. As in my story tonight, which I call Picture of a Killer. My story, Picture of a Killer, begins in the business district of a large city. Two men, Duke Farson and Lefty Williams, are driving slowly along one of the main streets. Both men are tense, watchful. Suddenly, Duke speaks. Slow down, Lefty. I see a parking spot right near the bank. Okay, Duke. But I tell you, I still don't like this job. Stop worrying, will you? We can't miss. Now, look. Just keep the motor running for a fast getaway. I'll take care of the rest. Okay, Duke. Good luck. Pardon me, mister. You like to have your picture taken? No, buddy, I wouldn't. Uh, I take a nice picture. Lonely car. I don't want my picture taken. Never had a picture taken in my life. I'm not starting now. Now beat it. Uh, sure, sure. Maybe some other time. It's all I need. Have my picture taken. Here comes the payroll clerk now. Uh, pardon me, bud. Uh, have you got a match? Why, no. I... Don't move and make a sound. There's a gun I got in my pocket. A hold up? Yeah. Now hand me that bag you're carrying. I... I can't. It, it's locked. Yeah, away. but you got the key to unlock it. Fork it over and make it fast. All right, but just don't shoot. I've got the key in this. Oh, try to pull a gun on me. Well, <laughs> maybe that'll teach you. Duke, what happened? Stop talking and get going. Duke, how long are we going to stay cooped up in this apartment? It's dark now. Let's slam out of town before the cops get us. Relax, will you? I said we'd leave town until the heat's off, didn't I? I'll pick up your hat and coat. We'll be on our way. And now you're talking. All right, you ready? Yeah, just lead the way. Stop looking so nervous, will you? Relax. They can't prove a thing against us. We got nothing Don't to worry about. We've got you covered. O'Hara! Yeah, O'Hara. Get the gun, Schwartz. Hey, what's okay, the idea, O'Hara. O'Hara? You haven't got a thing on us. Oh, no? You're both under arrest for the attempted murder of that payroll clerk this morning. Attempted murder? Yeah, by a miracle, the guy's still alive. Now, look, O'Hara, we got witnesses. They'll testify we were nowhere near the place where that payroll clerk got his. Yeah, we got an alibi you can't break. I can't, huh? Take a look at this photograph. Duke, look. Huh? It's a picture of you plugging a payroll clerk. No. Ah. Yes, Duke, the camera doesn't lie. Street photographer George Parker's his name snapped this picture just as you shot the payroll clerk. And unless I miss my guess... This picture's going to send you up the river for a long, long stretch. And now I'll continue my story, Picture of a Killer. Duke Farson and Lefty Williams, their alibi broken by the picture that George Parker, the photographer, had snapped at the scene of the crime, was sentenced to 20 years for the attempted murder of the payroll clerk. Five years passed. Five years in which Duke's hatred for George Parker grew into something that was almost uh, insanity. Then one day, while they were at work in the prison yard, Duke hunted up his pal, Lefty, and said in a low, tense voice, Everything's all set, Lefty. We're lambing out here tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, huh? Yeah. Once we get over the wall, there'll be a car waiting for us. And we'll find a couple of rods, some clothes, and some dough. That's great, Duke. Then we'll head for Mexico, huh? Yeah, we'll head for Mexico. But first, there's someone we got a call on. Who's that? The guy that put us here, George oh. Parker. If it hadn't been for him and his camera... Yeah. So help me, if it's the last thing I do, I'm going to get that guy. I'll teach him to take pictures of me. Duke, listen. Them cops are tearing this town apart to find us. As long as we stick to this back alley, they won't spot us. Just another block to that picture shop that Parker owns. Duke, we can't afford to waste time on Parker. Come on, let's get back to the car and head for Mexico. We aren't going any place until I've taken care of Parker, do you hear? For five years, I'd waited to get even with him, and nothing is going to stop me. Oh, listen, Duke. I hate Parker as much as you do. 
But this ain't the time you knock him off. I'm going back to where we left the car. And I'm heading for Mexico. It's not healthy to talk like that, Lefty. You know what happens to guys who cross me up? Now, come on. It's not much further to Parker's shop. Nothing doing. This is where you and me part company. Oh, it is, huh? Yeah. I'm going back to the... <laughs> okay, Lefty. We'll part company. But my way... And... So long, Lefty. Yeah, I'd like to have my picture taken. Oh, fine, fine. Well, now, if you'll just come this way, please. Yes, yeah, sure. Nice little shop you got here. Oh, thank you. Now, <clears throat> if you just sit in this chair while I adjust the light. Yeah, sure. Hey, those lights are kind of strong. Oh, you're right. I'll get used to them in a moment. Now, will you, will you just look this way, please? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think the lighting's all right now. Uh, that, that's it now. Now, just hold that pose until I focus the camera. <laughs> You know, the last time you took my picture, you didn't have all this fancy equipment. Oh, I, I've taken your picture before, haven't I? Yeah, don't you remember me? No, I'm sorry, but I don't. <clears throat> no, I'm ready. Smile, please. Wait a minute. What? Would you mind letting go of that bulb? That's it. You're sure you haven't taken my picture yet? Why, no. No, I, I, I was just about to when you told me to wait. That's fine. Now step away from that camera a bit. That's it. I, I don't understand. Is, is, is anything wrong? No, no. <laughs> Everything's fine. Just as I changed my mind, I don't want my picture taken. You, you don't want it taken? No. The one you took of me five years ago was the first I ever had taken. It's going to be the last. The one I took of you five years ago? Yeah. You were a street photographer then. Oh. You took it outside the Third National Bank while I was sticking up the payroll. Oh, no. You crossed Yeah. Me. Didn't recognize me, did you? No. Five years behind bars changes a man, don't it, huh? Uh, don't move. Uh, I got you covered. Uh, what, are you, what are you going to do? What do you think? Uh, uh, Hadn't uh, been for you and that camera of yours, they'd never have got me. Uh, I'd never have gone up the river. Uh, no, no, Fossen, don't let you. Please, 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 don't I used you. to lie awake in my cell night after night, dreaming of this moment. The moment when my finger would tighten on the trigger of a gun. A gun! Uh, and a gun! Uh, and a gun! Uh, and a gun! Uh, 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 Duke Farson, a smile on his lips, got up, stepped over George Parker's body, and quickly walked out of the shop. A few minutes later, Duke suddenly stopped. A block away, the police were swarming around his getaway car. Cursing his luck, Duke hurriedly retreated. As dawn approached, he broke into an empty house where he decided to hide and rest until it should be dark again. Exhausted, he had little trouble falling asleep. Come on, Duke, wake up. Wake up. <coughs> What's wrong? What? O'Hara. Yeah, O'Hara. Don't try anything, Duke. We got you covered. Schwartz, get us gone. I haven't got one. That's right, O'Hara. He has it. Hmm. Pretty smart of you, Duke, getting rid of that gun. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't, huh? No. I suppose you're going to tell me that you didn't murder George Parker last no, night. No, I didn't. You can't prove I did. But I can, Duke. Who do you think you're kidding? I suppose you got a witness, huh? Yes, Duke, I have. Take a look at this photograph. No. No, that... That... That can't be. But it is, Duke. It's a picture taken of you as you shot and killed George Parker. But the, there wasn't anybody there to take my picture. Parker and I were alone. He was no place near the camera. He couldn't have taken it. He didn't take the picture, Duke. Death took it. Death took it? What are you talking about? You fired four shots at Parker, Duke. Your hand must have been shaking. You hated him so much. One of the bullets went wild and hit the shutter mechanism of the camera, no. causing a picture to be snapped, just as you were committing murder. You... You mean... One of those slugs hit the camera? Made it take my picture? Yes, Duke. And you're going to find that it was the most expensive picture ever taken of anybody. Because this picture is going to cost you your life. And sure enough, O'Hara was right. For six months later, Duke Farson was hanged for the murder of George Parker. 
A crime he could never have been convicted of if it hadn't been for Exhibit A. A photograph snapped at the scene of the crime by a stray bullet. <laughs> a bullet that Duke Parson himself had fired. Ah, well, they say that justice has a strange way of working itself out. It certainly seems so in Duke's case. Now I remember another case where... Oh, you have to go now. Too bad. But perhaps you'll drop in on me again soon. I'm always home. Just look for the house on the other side of the cemetery. The house of Dr. Weir. (laughs) 